Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. If you have a Divi site with a contact form on it, you've probably experienced form spam, and that is where uh, people or bots are uh, kind of spidering the web and finding forms and then sending um, spam through them. So then you're gonna get them at your email address or whatever email is notified when this form is filled out. So that could be pretty annoying if you're getting a lot of it. I host a couple hundred Divi sites, so I deal with it on all of those websites with clients often emailing me and saying, why am I getting so much spam and how do we stop it? So that happens through forms like this on your website. And with Divi, there's a few ways to protect against that. So I'm gonna show you a few of those ways. And the first thing I wanna mention is that if you don't need a contact form on your homepage, I would recommend removing it. Uh, the reason being is that many or most of the spam seems to come through contact forms on the homepage. And I think it's just because they're more accessible. You know, a lot of websites have just a contact form on the contact page. And if bots are out there spidering the web, they're just looking at websites. They might not be going one page deep. They're probably just looking at the homepage for a form and then their, you know, their bot is trying to submit uh, through that form. So if you don't have a contact form on your homepage, you're gonna have uh, probably less form spam. So that's step one. A lot of people wanna have a contact form on their homepage though, so that's not really a great option. So the second thing I'll mention is adding CAPTCHA to the form. So that's the simple math problem here that people need to enter uh, in order to process the form. So if I try to click submit, it's gonna ask me to fill out all these required fields, but one of them is the CAPTCHA field, which is just one way to prove that it's human or that the person submitting the form is human and not a bot that's just submitting thousands per day. So in order to turn on the CAPTCHA on a Divi form, you would first go into a visual builder or the page to edit that page and then edit the contact form. And then we'll go to spam protection and we are going to turn on use basic CAPTCHA, which I already have on. And you see when I turn that on and off, that uh, math problem uh, disappears or appears. So if you say yes here, it'll put that on. It's gonna provide some protection. Now on themes like Divi and other popular themes, it seems like spammers kind of target them and they're able to get past these uh, CAPTCHA fields. And I've seen that on my Divi sites and the theme developers uh, of Divi, uh, the company Elegant Themes has told me to update the theme because they sometimes upgrade their protection. And then if you upgrade the theme, you'll notice the spam slows down. So the third thing I'll recommend is to always make sure that your theme is updated and that's gonna help um, your CAPTCHA work a little bit better. To update your theme, you would go into Appearance, Themes, and you should see an update now here, just like this theme here, but you would have to first go to Divi, Theme Options, and then go to Updates, and put in your username and API key here, and then you'll be able to automatically update Divi. Looks like I need to do it myself on this site. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my username API key, click save. And usually after you do that, you do need to refresh a couple times for some reason. If I was to go into appearance themes now, now you can see I have update. I'm gonna click update and that's done. So again, the reason to do that is because Divi's always upgrading their um, spam protection or the developers for Divi. So it's not in every update, but I like to keep it updated to uh, make sure that I'm getting the best protection there, especially on sites where the client is asking me why they're getting so much spam. A lot of times an update like this will help. So if I do those fixes and the client is still telling me or I'm experiencing or observing spam on that website, usually what I'll do is use Google reCAPTCHA, which is just a higher level of security. And Divi has that built in, so you just need to do a few extra steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this site just to kinda stop any spam before it starts. So I'll go back to spam protection. I'm gonna say use spam protection service. So reCAPTCHA is the provider. That's the only option we have. So I just need to add my account. To do that, you need to go to google.com reCAPTCHA, go to the admin console, and I'm gonna add a new site. Could put anything in for the label. We're gonna use version three. 
put the domain in here and then accept the terms click submit and they're going to give you a site key and a secret key so i'm going to go back and click add account account name i usually just put the label but i'm not sure it even matters and by label i mean the label that i gave it on the last step so it's stevepluis.com put that in i already copied the site key now i need the secret key once i paste that in click submit I now have that in there. With Google Recapture, you can actually change the score, uh, the minimum score for spam to be blocked. I usually keep it just at 0.5. I'm gonna save that. Notice the CAPTCHA for Google is invisible. So I think in version three, uh, it's now invisible. It used to be a checkbox where you just have to check it. Now it's invisible um, and it provides spam protection. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And it's gonna update that page. And now that it's entered, I could use it on other forms as well within Divi. So I could go to the home page. I'm going to open up the Visual Builder on that home page because I know it has another form there. And notice this has the built in uh, CAPTCHA, but I'm going to go into spam protection, turn on the spam protection service, and select the account I already added. So now I'd have to save that page too, and I'll have um, Google reCAPTCHA on all the forms on the website. I could go ahead and add them to all the forms. So usually once I add Google reCAPTCHA, uh, I don't get any more spam or very minimal. There have been times over the past few years where spammers seem to get past uh, Google reCAPTCHA's spam blocker, but it's kind of a battle back and forth and Google tends to win over time. So that's kind of the, the trump card in blocking spam through Divi. So hopefully that helps you out. If anybody has any other tips in um, blocking form spam in Divi, definitely comment below. I'd be interested to hear how you guys do it. Uh, hopefully this helps you out though in blocking some of that form spam. If you like this video, you can check out some of my other Divi tips. I'll link to that playlist here and we'll see you on the next video.